What is your happiest memory, memory, memory in life? All right, so there's this place I go every summer, right? Happiest memory. It's a hard one. Kind of finding out about what my favorite artist was at the time, because like the music has been like a big impact on my life. The first time my fiance and I confessed that we loved each other. It's like a, it's like a little rock. It's like a giant rock with like water at the bottom of it, and you jump off of it. I fell off of it one time, which really hurt. But down there, there's like a, like a platform of rocks, and there's like a GoPro there, and I found a GoPro. Um. If you find a good artist, then you know you're, then you know that point in time is gonna be so good. Like Michael Jackson, I found out about Michael Jackson, and then that was like the best summer I've ever had. It was quite a relief. Um, I, I had somewhat of a rough childhood growing up, so um, you know, for like ten years, I just figured that I that was it. Like I was. I was just gonna be the rest of my life like that. I would say meeting friends from online because, you know, you have such deep personal connections with people these days online. And I have so many friends I've made over the years from online. And um, whenever I go and meet them in real life, go down like, for example, you or a friend I had in Florida, we just uh, connect instantly. And it's like, I've never seen them before, but I know them. My happy memory, um, um, I'm model for the fashion. I take a picture for the magazine, you know? And this moment is a moment in my life. I had a point in my life, but just moving, moving out of uh, Georgia to California, hit the final step, and you know, leaving my parents' house, and then now I'm here, and I make good money and everything else. It's like hanging with somebody I've known in real life for my entire life, and that's something I love about VR, because now it feels like I can see them before I see them. It was when I got GTA 5, my dream game, and I always wanted to play it. When you meet someone who just gets you, like, inherently, um, I, I think that is, a, that's gonna be a game changer for even the most cynical bastards like me, you know? They can be whatever they want to be here. They can be a hot dog with the ketchup and the mustard and the, just the ever-staring, ever-present face that stares at you. And to be honest, I still have this face in real life. I just wouldn't have the ketchup and mustard all over me. It was probably walking without assistance after I lost my uh, ability to walk um, some years ago. I had a, a rare illness called Guillain-Barre syndrome. Your own antibodies attack your myelin sheath around your nerves, and then your nerves expand and swell up. Uh, and it kind of crushes the nerve. I was told by my doctors I would never ever walk again. And then I went to Tenerife uh, and had uh, great therapy there. Uh, and uh, I said, one day I'm going to walk up that mountain. And one day I was up that mountain. And that was my happiest memory, I think. I really can't come up with a good answer. <laughs> Or even any any answer, even. I I guess going out with friends when I lived in England. Yeah, I guess that, that that's probably it. <laughs>